And hello and welcome on the third try of creating this very special episode. Because today it happened, I got my 100th subscriber, and he is a very special kid from Norway. So we are going to do a battle. A battle that will be remembered. Our children will sing songs of this battle. Maybe if you teach them and make them do it for their birthday presents, I guess. So he's from Norway, anyway. so we are going with the Nordic Alpines. And of course the Nordic people are always fighting winter and doing not the blizzard but snow. And at the time of the day is morning, just when the Valkyries can see the greatest of the warriors be slain on the battlefield and takes them to Valhalla. No wait a second, at this time I guess the Nordics are already Christian. We're still going with Valkyries! Yeah! Valkyries are cool than angels, I guess. <laughs> so, period will be, of course, all. And don't need the level, don't need all of this stuff. Okay, let's see. So, um, we are going with Norway. And, of course, you already spotted the Norwegian flag. And it's uh, a lion with the axe that is sticking out his tongue to... I don't know, sticking out his tongue to the outside enemies. Yes, that's the way they are rolling. And they're fighting the Germans, the Holy Roman Empire, the Goths. The Goths of the time, <laughs> so to speak. They're very dark creatures. Okay, I'm giving them some more money, so the battle will be a bit bigger. And here we go. So, first off, um, we need some viable cavalry. Yeah, they have war clerics, so basically they are Christian. I think even on the early period. But okay, let's talk about the cavalry. So um, we need someone that can survive. So we are going with the. They have two hit points. Yes, with the general and his bodyguards. And the general is, of course, a man that had fought many battles. And has the best weapons and shields on his men. And he's surrounded by his trusty Huskulls. And one group of the Huskulls is for the older members. They also have better weapons and shields. And the other one have a bit of experience, but not a lot. So they cannot afford the good stuff. Talking about the good stuff, um, we have two sections of Nordic Swordsmen. One of the best of the soldiers. They were on many raids and they learned quite a lot and they brought their best weapons they could get into the fight. Um, we also have, um, they are of course accompanied by dismounted host skulls. Also great and fearsome warriors that have seen quite a bit of battle and they know what they're doing sometimes when they're not raiding with the Viking raiders. That's too much, and here we go, Viking Raiders, and they're of course accompanied by the Zami X-Men, our main battle line, Nomadic Warriors, recruited for their natural ability with the X. Effective against armor, combat bonus, and woods and snow, powerful charge, very good stamina. So uh, the Zami X-Men will be our main battle line, and they of course also will be carrying quite nice stuff. Um, they will have some crossbowmen. Let's give them four sections of crossbowmen. And of course they have um, one human of Gotland, Gotland footmen with two enders. And a group of... Where are they going? Uh, let's not give them cannons, but... Let's give them... Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Svenna, Huskal, Chival Knights, Chival Knights, more Chival Knights, no, 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 no. Huh. Looks like they have no Spear Militia. What? Why? Alright, so, um, I guess, um, no, I don't want... Okay, yeah, let's go with the Spear Militia. The ones I just clicked over like a hundred times. And of course, the Spear Militia will be good with the spear to fight off the Germans. 
Because the Germans, of course, are known for their cavalry charges. And that's why they are mounting Gothic Knights. And the Gothic Knights are, of course, fearsome warriors. They've seen tons of battles and they know what to do with these spears. They know where to put them in a way where you cannot figure out quickly <laughs> how to put them out again. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what I'm saying here. But they, of course, have uh, um, Imperial and Feudal Knights with them. Because the Gothic battle line is very intensive on horse. Okay, then the fighters come in. And the fighters, of course, mostly dismounted German feudal, feudal knights, dismounted imperial knights. Let's give some here. It's okay. So, um, they are taking Halbert militia with them and the feared Swiss Landsknecht pikeman. One of the best mercenaries you can get at the time. Of course, some of them are more experienced than others. Some are experienced, and these guys are basically rich kids with weapons to play with. Same with them. Okay, and of course they are bringing one of the most fearsome weapons during the time period, the handgun. Uh, so they have two sections of handgunners. Um, let's not give them too much stuff, or I will straight up lose this fight, which would be a total shame. Uh, we are around the same money right now, but I will even it out later. Oh yes, they have v religious fanatics with them, because when you go to Norway, you should go the whole way. You get the joke? I hope not, because it was a stu pretty stupid one. And they have subatines, because uh, no gothic army went out without the cannons. So, let's go back to these guys. So, I think that some of the raiders aren't exactly as bad as I made them out to be. Same goes for these guys. So, um, they, these guys actually uh, got some nice weapons on their raids. So, I think we are around the same money. So, and while we're at it, let's go. Komturai, the commandary, are the basic order organizational unit. Each Komturai controls a district and castle, the ranks of the Teutonic order. As so it's a Komturai. It's German. So let's see what the Norwegian officer is telling his man in the face of the enemy. Nothing right now. I hope that will change. Here we go. <laughs> yes, because we have access in the wood. You cannot be better prepared. Wait, that's it? Normally you would give a speech like, Oh, they have hand gunners, but we have speed. Oh, they have horses, but we have people to just stand around while they're being killed by the horses, I guess. But, okay. <laughs> Let's start the deployment. Units, mug builders. So... Question number one, what's up with that frame rate? Question number two, will the frame rate be better during the battle? <laughs> Holy shit. I think it's the winter? I'm mm -hmm. not sure. I think I have to set everything up, all right. Yes. Even my PC has electricity, okay. Which sounds weird, I know, but I'm sitting on the laptop and actually sometimes it's not working. So, okay. Let's see. So, um, so they are fighting up for, from upstairs. What was that? From 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 a, a lifted, elevated position. Here we go. I think it's because of all the trees. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So, but they are fighting for an elevated position. So um, they got that on their side. So we cannot really charge at them really easy. But we are all hidden because we are Norwegians. Okay. Let's set up the main battle line, and we start, of course, with my two sword sections. Let's have a look. If we can have a look at them, as they are already in hiding mode, they're already cutting hearts out, I guess. So 
The Hoskals are on their right, ready to crack some German armor. Let's have a look at them. I think these are... What's the better armor? They have the worse armor. Okay, and... These are the guys with the better weapons. Which you cannot see right now because they are in hiding mode. But we will see during the battle, I guess. I hope so. I would like to say. Okay, so... We need the raiders. Um, the raiders will be a bit on the back because we want them to run in once the battle starts to fall into the enemy flank. And you can see here they have really shitty armor and really shitty weapons while these guys at least are wearing brigandines. Okay, so crossbow man, you are the first line and you will fall back once you have contact with the enemy. Alright, Gotlands, Gotland Infantry, um, also a flanking unit, I want them on the left side, because that is where the enemy will have their shields, and that's why I will have them flanking from this area, I don't know if they can get this, I think they can do something special with these swords, but we will find out during the battle, and of course our main battle line the zombie X-Men. So, uh, let's find our units here. I shouldn't have taken this map. <laughs> oh my god, this will be a total disaster for me, isn't it? Okay, so. Let's put up the... Yes. They are ready. Ready for combat. And tight iron armor. Okay, and of course, the general will stand back with Haskells on his left side and the easygoing Haskells on his right side. Look at these guys. Yes, you will. Okay, so, uh, wearing of course the late medieval helmets. Uh, I cannot spot the general right now, he will be among his men here somewhere. Most likely on the right flank behind one of these trees. Come on. Yeah, here is the general. And here we have the Hoskards. In big chamber clothing, big helmets. And richly engraved axes. And on the other side we have the younger Hoskards. They haven't broken their teeth yet. So they are wearing a bit shitty yeah? outfits but enough of a medieval barbie we of course need a spear militia that will be ready to strike the enemy once they crashed into our first line and they will be ready to poke them a bit with their pokers so let's start the battle and may the better man win or lose if it's me shut up just shut up. Okay, let's see. Yeah, they are starting with the hand gunners. Who is this behind them? Spearmen. Tons of spearmen. The knights are holding back right now. But the foot soldiers are right behind them. So I don't need to worry about an early cavalry charge. Which means that my whole group... Wait a second, I said my whole group. Can move on and face the enemy from up front. So I don't need to worry about them using their horses. March on, battle brothers. The enemy has brought up artillery to bombard How can I make him, him shut up? I don't know. But they brought up artillery, he's right. So uh, we need to worry about him. Shut up! Okay, so where's his artillery? I think it should be. All the way back. Oh, they are coming. And they're coming in hard. And don't be misguided by these guys' experience. Uh, experience by these guys' armors. Or whatever you call it, what they are wearing here. But these guys are freaking tough. And my best bet is to counter them with my... 
Crossbow man. Okay, stand still, crossbow man, and fire. And of course, you can hear the thunders of the Archibuses. And my crossbow men are loading the Ara Bless. For first man dies. And fire! Of course, not as loud as the enemy thunder boxes, but quite effective hail of crossbow bolts jumping into the pikemen. Okay, crossbow man, it's time to pull back. Crossbows, go back, crossbows. Okay, and the first men are already in attack. The X men are fighting the horses. So the horse change came anyway. Um, where are they? Warriors of the Spearman, let's go! Attack the enemy while he's still vulnerable. While you guys are attacking the dismounted feudal knights. Big metal starting to start on the right side. Get the Landsknecht while they haven't deployed the uh, spears. They're not in a spear wall position. And here the fight begins. Slowly but surely they will hack through the Landsknecht. The problem is this Landsknecht section coming from the other side. We need to do something about that. The Goflands are actually right in the middle of one fight against the Pilgrims. Nothing a man. They just died to a guy with a club. You have a two-handed sword. You are literally... Uh, okay. Alright, so. Looks like the battle is going in our favor. First section of horses already broke up. I got my spearmen behind the enemy Imperial Knights. The Imperial Knights, of course. With them small maces. Ready to strike through any armor that will counter them. With a dog helmet. Fighting against the Zami X-Men. And of course the Zami X-Men expert at striking through tight armor. Will hopefully be able to, to deal with them. Landsknechts are still fighting against our swordsmen. Our swordsmen are... No, these are our X-Men. And they are losing considerably. So, this is the time. Our cavalry charge will come in and crash into the enemy flank. Wait a second. I said crash, not slowly gallop into them. We will break them apart. It is time. And our general leads the charge, putting down his lance, riding through the forest with his men. On his left and his right, keeping stuck behind his men, cannot use his axes, uh, his lance, and now they are fighting. Swords versus axes. First Haskell arrives at the German, <laughs> and he just dies. And more swordsmen arrive. The battle became quite confusing. Back here we still have Halbert militia ready to cut down any horse that is coming close. But they are standing still, which will result in them losing the big artillery battle. Our men have slain the enemy general. Enemy general. Lose their will. And the Zami X-Men already cut through the order. And these dismounted fuel knights are now fighting to their death. No, they are not. They decided otherwise. They are routing and they are breaking, breaking while our zombie X-Men are just running behind them. Killing them. Or making them prisoners. Our prisoners and slaves. 105 we already have. And the enemy brings his dismounted Imperial Knights. But our zombie X-Men will come from the side and bring them right back. And the enemy Gothic charge comes in. Hits our flank. A lot of Zami X-Men died. But just look at this battlefield. Slain battle brothers everywhere. But fear not. Because we still have crossbowmen. And we still have raiders. A fresh group of raiders. 
they fought some of the German knights, but most of them fell. And while our dismounted Nascals are crossing the lines to face the dismounted Imperial Knights, our heavy infantry will behind them, run behind them, and finish them off. Crossbowmen are getting into position to once again start their deadly hail of Arablest crossbows. Our Zami crossbowmen need some pause, so I will put them up back here and wait for the enemy spear unit to arrive because I don't want to charge into them head along because that could be a mistake. The Halbert militia is broken, broken by some horses and they are of course running behind them because they want their loot. What do we have here running here? This mounted Imperial Knights followed by a group of heavy Huskirls and now the general will get them. Our elite Huskal group is taking a big, big, big breath. Blah. <laughs> it's taking a big breath, but it's getting ready to charge. He's getting ready to charge the hand gunners, the hand gunners that brought death upon us, and the enemy finally breaks and flees. But we will not give them time to flee. No, we will charge behind them, and we will take them prisoners. Look at the prisoner count rising. Our Huskals just breaking through their ranks, smashing their horses into their backs. The Halbert militia broken apart, running away. And what do we have here? Imperial Knights, a good price. Every one of one of them will bring us a good amount of money, because their families will pay up to get their sons and brothers. And sisters, no, not really sisters, <laughs> but their sons and brothers back. Because they won't be left in our fangs. Nobody wants to see a knight in enslavement by Norwegian troops. So a lot of money will go on. And our general is walking to the site. Watching the battle, they lost two men in their group. The battle borders will not be forgotten. Harald, the great warrior, and Olaf, the not so great warrior, but he was the brother of Harald, so two brothers died. I'm making up shit, and you love it, I know it. And the gunners are running away, eight gunners, but we will not let escape the gunners, because they are cowards standing behind the lines with their uh, explosive sticks firing into our groups while our men standing up on the front and fighting and they are also wearing these weird Italian helmets that no one likes only them okay and this is the moment where Harald says stop men break apart from the battle and take order, for there might be more waiting, hiding in the bushes. So the Norwegians are returning from the hunt for prisoners and they're taking battle positions once again. The good Huskels, the good men, they lost a lot today. But they also learned a lot, and some of them will rise into the ranks of the elite Huskerl. And this is the moment. Oh, we are not ending this. Let's make them quick, put up the speed significantly, so we can get a nice victory shot at our units. They fought well, they fought good. It's totally acceptable for them to cheer and praise God 
Okay, maybe not them. Holy hell, they only have seven men left. But they never broke. They fought to the last man. And this is it for this battle. Exit. Yes, we did quit. Oh, we have to do it 200 men more. Well, it's alright. It's alright. <laughs> we also killed 793. And our enemy killed 716. So let's see who killed the most. The North Swordsman was 107. A good yes. Yes, North Swordsman. Best fighters. Directly followed by... More North Swordsmen and the Huskars and of course the Zami X-Men as our main battle line. Forked really well. And I hope you enjoyed this quick little episode and I see you guys next time.